Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And uh, this is my new project, Venue Booking System. And I have developed this project in Java, Spring Boot, and Angular. And uh, JDK version, I am using JDK 1.8. Angular version, I am using 12. And uh, for uh, ID, I am using STS, Spring Boot Tool Suits for uh, Spring Boot development, means microservice development. And uh, for Angular side, I am using Visual Studio Code. For database, I am using MySQL and version is 5.6 right so these all technology stacks i am using uh, for developing this project on the server side i am using topcat version 9 uh, for running the spring boot application for the server right so these are the technology stacks which we are using for developing this project when in this uh, developing this project when you booking system so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have implemented what are the features available inside this project right so uh, this is a major project which has two types of login uh, the admin login and the customer login so admin can perform certain operations means admin operations and customer has limited operations means customer can search the venue and after that he can book that right so only uh, these two rails are available inside this project right so once you run this project, then uh, you can open this web page on 4200 port and we are using port 8080 uh, for uh, Spring Boot application. Right. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is the home page and these are some uh, venues coming on the, the places coming on the home page. And these are the dynamic places, right? And it's coming from the API, from the database, from a Spring Boot application. Once you click on the places, you will be able to see all of the venues which belongs to that place, right? So this is the home page and this is the about page. You can see this is the about page. This is a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. This is the locations, all of the locations which is available, right? For which venues are available will be displayed here. And on clicking on the locations, you will be able to find the venues of that location. This is all venues and all of the venues which is available in the system will be displayed here, right? You can search the venue from here also like Firuj, right search so all the venues which uh, contains the Firuj word will be displayed here right so you can see this is the details once you click on the details you will be able to see the details right booking cost this one these are the details and this is a book this center and after that you can see these are the comments these are the reviews posted by the customers right once you click on the login if you want to post your review then you must have the login details right without login you will not be able to post the reviews right this is a login this is a customer login from where customer can log in and customer can book the venues this is the admin login i will explain you later this is a registration if you don't have user id and password then you will be able to uh, register from here and after that you can um, book the venue this is a contact page and this is a uh, this is a dynamic contact page and if you put any anything here then will be displayed on the admin part this is a feedback of the website you can put anything here will be displayed on the admin part right now i am going to log in as a customer so this is a customer login and the user id is amit at gmail.com and password is test once you log in you will get the, the customer dashboard so this is a customer dashboard right here you can perform certain operations right you can see my bookings and my accounts right now i am going to book a venue so all venues right suppose i am going to book this one so this is uh, so you can see this comment section has been enabled right you can add your comments right yeah good venue right so now um, submit comment so you can see amit kumar posted on 26th june and this is a good venue right once you click on book this center it's asking for your credit card details and the first is 1000 rupees you can enter your card details there is nothing uh, dynamic on it it's a static page we are not making any type of real-time transactions we are not checking anything here right once you click on the make payment you can see your venue has been booked and the venue name is the city farm right you can see all of your bookings in the my booking section you can see this is the booking which you have made today right and once you click on this then you will be able to see the booking details and you can print the receipt from here this is a my account section from here you will be able to update your account details and the logout so this is a session driven menu 
if you click on the logout then above admin menu will not be displayed right you can see above admin menu is not displaying right so now i am going to log in as a admin right this is admin the username is admin and password is test right once you click on the login you will be able to get the dashboard so there are three types of ui available in this project first one is for the customer second one is for the admin login and third one is for the admin internal pages administrator pages right so this is a third ui right so this is a center management from here you will be able to add the centers means venue right if you want to add centers plus click on the center you will be able to add any number of centers here right so these all are the forms you can choose the file here and after that you can upload the venue right right so this all of the centers are venues are available here right this is a location management you can see these are the locations if you want to add a new location just click on the add new location and after that you can add any number of locations from here this is all bookings all of the bookings which has been made by different customers will be displayed here right if you want to see the details of any booking just click on this arrow icon you will be able to see the details of that booking this is a customer management all of the customers who has registered on the page will be displayed here right even you can add your customer also even you can edit and update a customer right so if you want to add the customer just click on that customer you can add the customer from here this is a contact us support as i told you earlier this is a <coughs> contact us all of the customer who has submitted the contact form will be displayed here right this is a feedback report right and this is a logout right if you want to delete anyone just click on the date that will be deleted and logout once you click on the logout you will be reacted to the home page right now come on the spring boot part so this is the spring boot part here you can see these are the resources right these are the java files here you can see these are the config control exception model repositories if you click on the controllers you will be able to see all of the controllers what we have implemented here right these are the model files these all are the model files and these all are the repository files so these are the microservices these are the sample codes here you can see these are the sample applications right if i go on the you can see i am running uh, the angular application on the angular page on the command prompt if i click it right and if i open the code here then you will be able to see all of the codes right in the visual studio code you can see we have implemented the visual studio code here right so these are the codes these are the src app you can see all of the uh, controllers are available here right this is a front end for front end all of the front ends are available here right so these all functionalities we have developed inside this project venue booking system and as i told you earlier this is a mini project developed in uh, sorry major project developed in java spring boot uh, angular and mysql if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more fit and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much